Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with my Harlequin Anticipated Reads for May of 2022. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I used to do these videos a lot. You guys probably know I am a huge, huge fan of category romance. They are like my bread and butter. They are my favorite books. I usually always have one on the go. I love, love, love reading them. And I used to do these videos every month where I would look ahead to what's coming out in the next month and look at all of the different lines and pick one book from each line to highlight, essentially. So what I want to do in this video is that I want to, it's kind of twofold. So one, I want to, of course, share these books with you. But two, I used to do this that I would have you guys pick me one book. Like, like, oh, here's all the books. Which one should I definitely get to in the next month? But I want to take that this one step further. So essentially what's been happening is that the Harlequin publicity team, who is absolutely fantastic, has been sending me books every month to kind of talk about and highlight. So that's great. Um, but I kind of wanted to reach out to you guys to which books you guys want to hear about. So I do have some books that are coming out in May and none of the books that they sent me are on this list. Um, but I still want to talk about May releases or new releases. So what I'm going to do every month as I do these anticipated reads videos is ask you guys to pick me some books, like just list below, which ones do you guys most want to hear about? And at the beginning of May, I will go ahead and tally up all the votes and the top three or four books, three or four books, <laughs> I will do a separate vlog. Like I do my weekly reading vlogs, but I'm going to do a completely separate vlog just me reading those three or four books and that way I can kind of highlight them for you guys. So to let you know, all of these books are being released on April 26th, 2022, um, but they are considered to be May releases. So they're coming out at the very, very end of April. Uh, they will be available physically in stores, not all of them, but a good number of them will be available physically in stores. And the remainder, or all the books, of course, will be available on Kindle or Kobo or Apple iBooks or wherever you purchase your eBooks from. But all of them are currently available right now on the Harlequin website, if you wish to purchase them there, either physically or digitally. And full disclosure, I have already purchased all of these books. Like I have purchased every single one of these books I'm going to talk about. They were my first purchase in the month of April. So I'm very excited about all of them. Um, but let's jump in and get started. So the first book I want to talk about, of course, is a desire novel. And this is Black Tie Bachelor Bid by the great Karen Booth. This is number 2873 in the Desire line, and it is book two in the Little Black Book of Secrets series. So let's talk about this one. Romance is not on socialite Taylor Klein's mind when she wins a night with super sexy Roman Scott in a charity bachelor auction. Buying a date is the only way to meet the famously reclusive hotelier and pick his brain on how to launch her own dream boutique hotel. Besides, Taylor's done with romance, but sticking to business gets tough when their sparks explode into passion, and even tougher when the notorious gossip account Little Black Book threatens to expose all their steamy secrets. Does that not sound fantastic? <laughs> I'm just going to read the back of all these for you guys because it's just going to be so much easier than me trying to stumble my way through an explanation about what all of these are about. So next up, let's jump on to a Harlequin heartwarming novel. So this is Her Veterinarian Hero by Elizabeth Mowers. This is number 422 in the Heartwarming line and book three in the Little Lake Rosalie series. I believe this is just a small town contemporary romance series. Olivia Howard's relationship with her teenage son has grown strained after losing her husband. Maybe this trip to Rosalie will to see her aunt in the, uh, is the change they all need. Then green-eyed veterinarian Tyler Elderman pulls her from a crumbling cliff while out walking his dog Ranger, and Olivia wonders if she needs more rescuing than she thought. Is her still grieving heart ready to take the leap once more? Story about a widow. It sounds delightful. The cover is gorgeous. Yeah, I cannot wait to get to this one. Uh, and the Harlequin heartwarming line are um, sweet romances. Next, we have a historical, and this is this one sounds so good. I have to admit, out of all of these, this might be like my favorite. 
<laughs> just because of the one blurb that I read about it. I'm like, I must read that right now. So we have Miss Prevert's Secret Scandal by the great Bronwyn Scott. This is number 1648 in the Harlequin historical line. And this is book three in the Preverts uh, of Haberstock Hall series. And here's the blurb that sold this book on to me. A Victorian twist on a sexy office romance. Right? Right? <laughs> Delightful. So we have working in close quarters with an employer she can't resist. It says Thomasita is dreading her return to society, but when she's offered a secretarial role by Member of Parliament Shaw Rodden, he tempts her to leave the safety of her home. Shaw's unlike anyone she's ever met, and their attraction is undeniable. Even the revelation of her scandalous secrets draw him closer. Thomasina knows it's foolish to trust the wrong man, but will Shaw prove he's worth it? Yes, sexy office, rom sexy office romance set in Victorian times. I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. The next one. This one was a title buy. You know, a lot of people are like, yeah, it was a cover buy. This was a title buy 100%. So coming in from Harlequin Intrigue, we have The Body in the Wall by Rita Heron. This is number 2072. And this is book two in a Badge of Courage novel series. And it says, this place had been her home. Now it was a crime scene. The sooner special agent Macy Stark can sell her childhood home, the sooner she can escape her small town and shameful past until she discovers a body in the wall and her childhood nightmares return. Does that not sound fantastic? Handsome local sheriff Stone Lawson joins the cold case to help Macy locate her missing mother and uncover a dark web of secrets about both of her parents. But someone is willing to kill to keep the past hidden for good. Right? Right? Fantastic. I cannot wait. Next, we have a Harlequin medical romance. And these did not used to be some of my favorites, but they are really starting to grow on me and I'm really starting to enjoy them. So we have A GP to Steal His Heart by Karen Bain. This is medical romance number 1247. So it says, nobody is more dedicated to their job than Dr. Thomas, which is why he struggles to accept that it's time to take on a new job as the Earl of Morton. Not least because by taking the title, Thomas must accept that he's lost his father. So Thomas does not have the headspace for dynamic Dr. Daisy's arrival until a flood hits little Morton and together they must fight the rising waters and their rising attraction. So he's going to take over a title of an Earl. I think it's an Earl. And I guess maybe she's the new GP that's going to come in and take over his, his medical practice. But of course, something happens in the town. It just sounds so good. It sounds so, so good. I really, really like that one. Um, or this one, like I said, this one just sounds fabulous. Next we have <laughs> a Harlequin Presents novel. Oh, these ones are just, they're just, they're just perfect. So we have The Sicilian's Defiant Maid by Carol Marinelli. This is number 4001 in the Harlequin Presents line. And it is book number one in the Scandalous Sicilian Cinderella series. So it says, Billionaire Dante is suspicious when he's woken in his hotel room by Alicia. Ten years earlier, he had to walk away, but the raw sensuality of their last encounter is unforgettable. Feisty chambermaid Alicia is still captivating, but cynical Dante is sure she wants something. Alicia needs Dante's help finding her missing sister. So, uh, when he agrees in return for a weekend in Sicily... She can't refuse, but she's determined to stay out of his bed. Yet the fire between them ignited so long ago and every second together fans the flames dangerously high. Oh, swoon. Oh. Yeah, I'll help you find your sister, but you need to come and chill with me in Sicily for a weekend. Gee, I don't know. Let me think about that one. <laughs> How could you not say yes to that? Sounds wonderful. <laughs> Next up, we have a Harlequin romance novel. Favorite author of mine, I have to say. This one was an author pick, for sure. And we have Secrets Behind the Billionaire's Return by the great Rachel Stewart. Love Rachel Stewart. This is number 4,805 in the Harlequin Romance line. And it is book one in Claiming the Farrington Empire series. 
So we have 16 years ago, Felicity fell in love with the boy from Farrington Manor, but their affair was short-lived when Sebastian vanished and she was left with uh, the secret consequence of their love. Now he's back and his return and his return sends shockwaves through Felicity. Will the revelations about Sebastian's departure be enough for, fel for, fel for Felicity <laughs> to succumb to the feelings that still draw her to him? Sounds like a secret baby situation going on. So very interested. I love Rachel Stewart. She can do no wrong in my opinion. Her books are absolutely fantastic. Um, next up, we have a Harlequin romantic suspense novel. Her Seal Bodyguard by the great Cindy Dees. This is number 2,181 in the Romantic Suspense line. This is book three in the Runaway Ranch series. She is supposed to be in hiding, but his eyes are on her. With her life in danger, operative Gia plans to lie low in a small town. A different name, a slight disguise, and her years of training should keep her safe. But she's attra uh, attracted to... Uh, but she's attracted the attention of Marcus Tate. Um, the muscular stranger uh, claims to be a Navy SEAL. But can Gia trust that Marcus isn't the man sent to kill her? Right? Right? <laughs> Is he the good guy or not? I don't know. It's, we must read it and find out. It's very exciting. Um, next up, special edition. I love the special edition novels. They are among my favorites. And I was sent two of them, like I said, by the Harlequin publicity team. So not saying that this wasn't my number one pick, but um, some of those one, one of those two might have been as well, because they both sound absolutely fantastic. But um, this is the one I'm picking for this list. So we have Second Chance Summer by Joe McNally. I am a huge, huge fan of Joe McNally. This is book number 2907 in the special edition line, and it is book six in the Gallant Lake Stories series. I love this. Julie Brown wants golf lessons. For pro golfer, or for golf pro Quinn Walker, Gallant Lake Resort's cheery yet determined manager is a thorn in his side. But the widowed single dad begrudgingly agrees to teach his sassy co-worker the game he loves. As their lessons progress, Julie disarms Quinn in ways he can't explain or ignore. A second chance at love is as rare as a hole in one. Can these rivals at work tee it up for love? Does that not sound adorable? I, a golf romance. Like, come on. Oh, sounds fantastic. Um, just two more here, you guys. Next up, we have a love inspired. And this is Earning Her Trust by Brenda Minton. So I read the book prior to this in this series last month or this earlier in April. And I really enjoyed it. I, this is, um, number 1425 in the love inspired line, but it's book five in the canine companion series. The book I read prior to this, I think was book four, but I don't believe that this is a series you need to read in order. Cause I don't, I like reading the back of this book, this character does not jump out at me as one we were introduced to in the previous book. So I think the whole series for this one is the people all have dogs that help them with trauma or something like they're 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 working dogs if you will so this one says just when emery gunthry thinks she's put her childhood trauma behind her with the help of her beloved service dog that's where i'm looking for service dog um Bo wild returns to town she can't believe her high school bully now has guardianship of two orphaned children but Bo has changed and with her help, he's determined to prove that he can be a father. But can he convince Emery to become part of their family? A former bully. Like, I'm interested. This one sounds really, really great. I loved the previous book. I loved the aspect of the service dog. And I just thought that that book was wonderful. And this one sounds just as good. So can't wait to read it. And last but not least, we're going to end off with a love-inspired suspense novel. We have Death Valley Hideout by Dana Mentick. This is number 959 in the Love Inspired Suspense line, and it's book four in the Desert Justice series. I have read a previous book in this series, and they take place in Death Valley. I mean, it's Death Valley Hideout. But I mean, what an interesting location for a romance, if you will. It says, placed in Witsec, which is witness protection, um, while his brother testifies against a terrifying criminal, 
Tony must guard his young niece and nephew from the hitman hunting them. Death Valley local Willow Duke's hideout might just be the difference between the little family's life or death. When bullets start flying, can they thwart a killer long enough to survive and become a family for real? This is a really great series. I love the location. And again, this is one that even though I've read a previous one, it takes place in the same location and you're getting like characters you've already met, but it's, you don't have to have read a previous one to appreciate this book, if you will. So anyway, guys, that is all that I have for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Again, let me know which books should I put on the list first um, or which books do you guys want me to do an entire vlog on? You can pick more than one. Like if you have three or four that you want me to talk about, definitely list them all below in the comment section. And like I said, at the end of the month, I will go through and I will tally up the results and the top four of them will get a, um, uh, a vlog just on their own. Um, and I will talk about them for you guys. So yeah, um, you know, I'm doing you a favor and I'm doing me a favor because I get to read all these great books. <laughs> And that is always the goal, is it not, everybody? So anyway, until my next video, everyone, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.